All right, guys. Hey, uh, this is Chris. It's been a long time. Um, I've recently started a new job, got a new baby, and uh, I'm actually recording this before I head to work. Uh, but uh, because people have been asking, I'm trying to get back into recording videos for you guys. And uh, so today we're going to be covering Uzbekistan versus Turkey at the Turkish Open. This happened a few months ago. And uh, the reason for it is because, well, one, it's the finals of an Open. And two, I know this Rish Uzbek Rishtov Rashitov guy um, ended up fighting in the Jordan Asian Olympic qualifier and unfortunately um, had beat my teammate. And I've seen this Hakan Rekber guy fight. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I've seen him fight at the U.S. Open before and dominant. So uh, I want to watch these two fight. I have not watched this whole fight before, but I'll try and call things out as I see them or what I guess is going to be happening. And so let's get started. But obviously with the smaller height advantage, smaller, yeah, smaller height has to find a way in. Second one? Good for you, man. It's the second kick. This, sorry, third kick. So they have this little exchange. And he comes up in underneath it. Uh, let me slow this down. What I'm seeing a lot of is uh, just some poking back and forth. Red's doing a good job so far of either blitzing or uh, stopping blue in his forward momentum with a cancel. And... Uh, blue tried to looks like tried to capitalize on a reset, and red has this great little inside front leg. Oh, oh wait, what am I doing? Sorry, when did was it that one? It was just that cut. I'm just being stupid. Yeah, it's uh, it's just that initial cut. Um, so the reason blue tries to punch here, I think, is because you want to throw a variety of attacks at your opponent. And it just so happened that uh, Red was able to time using a short a short defense against Blue's Blitz. I think right here he tries to follow up because he knows he got scored on, and that's why. I thought it was that little underneath kick, and I was like, how how did that even score? But good job. But it was just, it was just cutting him dumb. Nice job. So with the punch, um, one of the things I guess that it's been canceling the punch has been a short little up ball kick here. So they go for the punch and they kind of they kind of shoots in underneath. Uh, I think the guy who fights Jang Jun a lot, the Iranian who fights Jang Jun. All the names are. It's been a while, so I don't remember all the names. Um, they used to have that short little cut during a punch. Red does a great job blocking and throwing that to the side to get in. One more time. See that you can, he like physically makes sure that that leg doesn't touch him as he's going in for his punch. So good job to Red here. I forgot all the keyboard shortcuts for this too. Giving blues here, different, giving different looks. It's trying, trying to find different ways in, and giving them a variety of attacks so it's harder for red to counter. Nice inside shots here by Turkey. <laughs> Did score? No, but that was a good, good job trying to go right on the reset. So for those, when I keep saying reset, uh, for those of you guys who don't know, that's kind of going right when the ref. 
either one right after a lot of action and usually there's a when the players break there's a small lull before the next one and so cutting that lull short and going right away so let's say you guys get broken uh, exchange small break and then you go right away that's kind of like a timing reset or uh, attack or there's another one where you're physically broken up here by the ref they're bouncing around actually never mind I rewind this too far. I think I didn't rewind it enough. That's what the issue was. Pretty sure I saw it. Okay, so that's what I was talking about. The timing reset. Right when he broke, Red goes almost instantly into action. There's a small second of Lull, but you can as soon as he breaks, Red takes a for, for steps forward, kind of to get into distance a little bit more while relaxed, and then throws a punch. There's no bouncing around and waiting like uh, is generally seen. In in a, now to go back to where we were earlier, Red, Blue's able to counter. I should have Red following up here. That's the thing Blue Bread was trying to avoid earlier was that short little inside cut. Let's try out the punch again. Nice try by Red also. Or Blue, yep, yep. Nice. What I was trying to say before Blue actually did it was, uh, it, now that he's got, what he did on here is, that cut was strong and he was able to force um, Turkey back, and because he's had to hop back in this position, there's there's no chance of him being able to like really slide back or get out of the way. So if Blue throws all of his attacks in place right here at kind of where Red is, um, it's almost like kicking a stationary target, and so that's what Blue does here to capitalize and get one of his headshots back. And almost another two points right there. Oh wow! And uh, Red with the so it goes to show that never never relax until you're done, until the ref's actually broken you because stuff like this happens where you get when they get back in the clinch. Um Red wow, actually Red does a great job here. Red's on the edge. Red gets in the middle, turns blue around. Uh and usually I'd say a lot of times when players get in the clinch they try and do like one thing and one thing only, so Red here, his focus was to get inside, and then immediately, right when he got to the inside, um, Blue I think relaxed a little bit because because he he felt like Red's objective was accomplished was to get back in the middle of the ring, which had he had done, and so I think Blue relaxed, thinking that Red was going to relax, and then Red took the opportunity to go for a headshot. One of the things um, that's going on... Oh, I'll, I'll just let this play and then... Uh-oh, I missed some of it. All right, well, I'm going to let this play while I'm talking. Um, one of the things I am noticing is a lot of the... How do I put this? A lot of the defense is happening almost immediately. Uh, very, There's not too much slide back going on. It's a lot of standing in place for defense. And uh, so stuff like, the, stuff like allowing the punch in, um, 
what was interesting is instead of attempting to go to the face, a lot of people were developing the short inside, short inside kick against punch, which is, I think is interesting because I think I forgot if it was Iran or or Europe who. who... I remember seeing it in one of the Grand Prix, and I was like, "That's a really smart kick," and uh, a lot of people are starting to do that now. Um, a lot of the defense seems to be happening uh, in place. It's not so much. Uh, it's not. A lot of the defense, how do I put this, seems to be countering immediate blitzes. So it's a lot of it's very short, very, very much in front of the person, and it leads a lot. And so one of the natural progressions I'm also seeing is that it leads to follow-up attacks. So if I do something, I'm going to let this play. If I do something and... Um, if I, my defense is in place... Right, my defense is in place. Then it leads a lot of attacks, like Blue's trying to do, where it's here, and then you'll try and hop forward on it, or um, or as long as you get around that first that first defense and you're in, then you're good. And so that's uh, that's kind of where I'm seeing the progression of where people are starting to try and make their plays. And then obviously there's ones from from uh, any standpoint where you're in the clinch or. So really quick, five to nine, what kind of adjustments do you make here? Um, uh, Red's doing a great job throwing a lot of lot of different variables in terms of what kind of defenses he's playing. Sometimes it's back. Some, a lot of times it's a blitz forward. And Blue's doing a pretty good job of trying to defend the short blitz with a cut and then following up, kind of poking at him where he is and then following up with a, with a jumping forward headshot. He was able to get some pretty good points when red was on the edge. So if I were blue this round, my adjustment would be to try and set up <laughs> a little bit more of the hard cuts into the uh, our red where you're leading. So pretty much the same game plan. And my gut says to move off the X a little bit every now and then. So instead of engaging here, occasionally step to the side just to... Uh, keep blue just to force blue to reset but i've been i haven't fought in a long time my stuff my advice may be garbage right now Blue's doing a little bit more poking around. When I meant poking, like, and you're like, oh, that might be correct. But Blue's doing a little bit more poking around. I was going to say more of like those hard, hard cuts. Try and set that up a little bit more. Um, but I think, yeah, they're just after uh, trying to slowly, slowly force Turkey into the, onto the edge. Nice try for the follow-up, though. That was a great, great follow-up by Blue. It just didn't hit. Wow, and good read. No points. Wow, that was that was very good. The, to be able to to the, he's starting to understand when, even though Red's blitzes are a little bit kind of on the off timings. On, they're on the breaks. They're on the the reset, and then he's going right away. He's really capitalizing on those timing reset stuff. Blue's starting to understand that, and that was great timing on this headshot right here. Um, that actually that almost hit. I think that was very well executed. And he even slid in. He slid in too to to try and bait Red a little, even just a little bit more to to commit to this kick. That was very close. Good, good trap by Blue there. Wow, good attempts too. So here, gets the push going, gets the push going. Blue's counter actually is not something he could have done. I think I think maybe he was in panic mode here. Is uh, If he had just executed that kick, he would have scored. If he had went first, he could have scored. He lifts his leg up initially just to block the other leg from coming up. And then as, and Red, as he knows his leg's coming down, Red swings it around, brings it on top. Great job there. You can tell you got to take the gum jung. Got poked in the eye.
Great job. Follow up. Oh, he slipped. There. It's a good job, though. By Red. That short kick I was talking about, really good here by Uzbekistan for developing that. Red kind of, uh, the, the, it seems like the, the adjustment Red's been making is, well, Blue is not very stable in the clinch, so let's just run him over, kind of like Mongolia does. Trying for more stuff in the clinch. So if I were red, it's kind of a little bit tough spot because one of his main, one of red's main, uh, looks like his offensive weapons in the first half. Yeah, I'd say the first half of this match was has been the, the timing reset into the punch. But after that attempted head kick, the slide in and the out in, red hasn't been doing it as much just because he knows blue knows that's the play. So he's trying. He has to. He's messing around with the front leg a little bit more to try and re camouflage that kind of attack back into his arsenal before he can start spitting it out. Like I said, he's adding that back into the camouflage, trying to do other stuff first, and then he's going to try with play with timing reset again. Wow, blue with his own punch. That was pretty good. Red with the kicks to the kicks to the back. Or kicks to the flank rather. Scoring those. But that's generally to be expected, right? As a smaller player fighting a bigger player, you want to kick on the inside and try and score then. Ice punch again. So this is something red's not expecting. Is Blue going to throw it again? I mean, if he's really pushing it and almost disrespectful of Red's intelligence, but we'll see. All right, I was trying to skip. Flag's going forward. Flag's going forward. Oh, wait. You can use arrow keys for this. That's right. That's what the thing is. All is four, but I'm glad we're not sitting through this. Oh, we're in action. Nice try on the cancel. So this is this is a good follow-up by Blue, and the reason is because Red, a lot of Red's defense, I'd say like 90% of Red's defense is not to slide back. It's either to counter in place or to go in. And so this follow-up here that Blue does, knows Red's going to be standing there. And trying to catch him on that was uh, really, really good. Even though Red's obviously a good player, he knows to slide out. The idea that your opponent's probably going to stand here, so if I, I initiate the defense I'm expecting, and then I counter one on top of that. Really good play by, by Blue here to, to attempt that. And then he's got his short little short little small cut kick on the inside to try and score him. I don't, know if I, I don't know if Blue's like tired, but if I were Blue, I would be trying to stick that short cut a little bit more. Also, um, so Blue's getting a warning here, I think, for keeping it up, but I also feel like this is a, the Turkish Open with a Turkic player in the final, so you can guys can do with that information what you will. They're both good fighters, regardless of what kind of, whatever uh, conclusion has come to. Wow! Nice job there with the trying to bait the trying to bait red on the inside here with the uh, cut. He knows worse, and as soon as he sees red coming in, tries for that head kick. It's really nice, um, really good because he knows red's coming in. So this whole this whole setup here is just to get red to kind of get red to come in, non-committal, non-committal, boom, and he's waiting exactly for that. Close, 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 close. Good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. You can fast forward, fast forward, fast forward, fast forward. Highlights, highlights. Third, oh, I'm missing. 
Okay, well, uh, let's get, so before we go too far, what are the adjustments? Blue seems to be scoring a lot when the red's on the edge. I would play more for a poke. Um, but it seems, I'm going to take some of blue, what I'm seeing already. So blue also seems to have high scor scoring opportunity when red is coming in. So a lot of poke, a lot of poke until either he's on the edge and I try and follow up there or a lot of poke, a lot of poke and sit on a back leg crescent kick or some kind of front leg to intercept red on his blitz. If I'm red, um, I'd say a, it's a little bit, uh, besides the last little 30 seconds of the last round, Blue's starting to catch on to the offensive plan here, which is a little bit scary. So, if I'm red, I would almost want to say, like, it's hard it's hard to recalculate as red because you have to figure out, at, like, what kind of stuff Blue's locking onto, how often do I throw a variation before I actually go. Um, so, I'm going to see, I want to say for red, almost the same offense, but you got to change the variety, like, either more often or... Uh, something like is, is tough being a red spot. You just gotta make tr do what you can to throw blue off of your offensive scent. Trying to score on the inside there, not bad. It's always good for smaller plays to try and score on the inside. Oh, that's right. Oh, I forgot about blue's punch. That would have scored on me too. So yeah, blue's blue's starting to gain. Blue's starting to figure out what kind of things could work in here. So, got that little punch in. Uh, or doing a thing because the points came up. So, it looks like, just based off this, Red's trying to force the things on the inside. So, if all the of the punch of his little intercepts on the outside, Red's trying to force the play on the inside to score there. More so than, like trying to get it off the punch because he knows blue has the number for his punch already Blue's actually countering for his own with his own punch now which is even scarier for red oh good adjustments about this is a small stuff i like to see red so far this whole match has looked like his full um, game plan has been starting to commit starting to commit to a hard offense to try and score points in the clinch so this little flick here I mean, besides this punch, now, this blue's about to flick to his face here. Because he knows red's doing a kind of like a almost full send strategy, so he can try and send all these headshots, and that's a good adjustment by him. And blue with these punches, dude. You're red. How do you stop the punches? One is you have your own little short kick. Um, the second one I saw, which is kind of cool, is you can switch to close stance and see if they still try and blitz and then you can jump back kick. But if you switch to close stance, he may no longer punch because it's not there anymore. Uh, you could also try for really, really short head kicks if you're fast enough. Um, it's it's a hard... How do I put this? It's hard momentum to stop at this point because uh, Blue's been... <laughs> Blue's been racking up points, and he's using a technique that you don't... It doesn't seem like Red has a natural counter for. So, I mean, it is it is unexpected coming from a taller player, but it's Red's kind of in a rough spot right now. Give me one. Nice counter. There you go. Right down an intercept. It's it's still though it's still scary because red still has to blitz and um, blue has it has built a defense around the blitz already and is now mounting his own offense based on punches which red so far doesn't have an answer for. <laughs> of course you're gonna get called for that. Okay. Red doing what blue red trying to do what blue's doing to him. Poke small poke. Trying to square the score. <laughs> I 
All right, it seems like the Jets are giving a lot of punches out. Uh, as red, this is a pretty good counter. Um, as blue, you need to switch. You need to switch gears right away, and you need to start going. Will red go for another punch right now? I kind of doubt it because that was two in a row. Blue is probably switching. I need to go back to my head kicks, in which case um, red will probably cancel or slide back, or I could be completely wrong. So I mean, head, oh, so I was wrong. So head kicks, head kicks. When I had said head kicks, I mean um, like the short kick or the head kick from like a short head kick. But he went, decided to go offensive with this. Oh, it actually wouldn't be a bad. They're letting the clock run. No, no, it's just this clock is wrong. Um, not a bad idea. Doing that, both players were kind of playing the line and not wanting to move back for him to cut and then trying to follow up, knowing that he may cancel. Um, and go for the headshot. Not not a bad idea. Oh, okay, okay. It's like that was nice of me to say earlier, but one of the ways to to beat the punch here is to um to throw in the back kick. I don't know why I said to switch first. Why would you do it from a close stance? I am really out of practice, but yeah. So back kick is also a decent way to beat a punch here. Okay, wow. So this is the nose red's gonna counter in place. And finally, near the end of the match, at the end of the round, uh, there's the head kick. All right, let's see how let's see how red plays the last 17 seconds of this match. It's not actually 12, it's 17. Last 17 seconds, how do you play this? You have punch option available. I think the best I, the best play would be for you to get for red to somehow get into the clinch and punch. Use whatever variation you want on the way in. Um, I would e I maybe even maybe would even do it from like a close stance because if you go in open stance, he may punch you again. I may even try and switch, try and do it from close stance, do some kind of crazy stuff, get inside, score the points you can on the inside because you only need one body kick right now to win. Or if uh. You know, try and get blue to grab you or something. Oh, oh, that was a good idea. So that was that. So blue knows he has to come. Was sitting on that punch, knowing red might have to blitz. So that's a good idea. Oh, and it scored. That's uh, that's rough. Oh! <laughs> yes, I love these fights. I love it. No, no. No, no, don't take away the points. Uh, I mean, he is kind of grabbing, but isn't that kind of allowed now? I thought that was allowed now. No, they're going to replay that for sure. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, four, sec four seconds. With Okay, so it looks like they gave him the Gumjong. He got four seconds. Oh, what do you do as red here? Well, blue, obviously, you, uh, one, as blue, you can either blitz on the way in. Like, right off this go, you're either going straight in to cut off, kill one or two seconds. And then you have, then he has one or two seconds on the reset, which is harder to try and get you. If you're red, oh, man. If you're red, you got to... I would, like, motion... Motion and then like motion to see if he's gonna blitz. So you can either brace and try and go backwards and keep space that way, or to see if he's going backwards. In which case you get you have the go signals to pursue. This is a rough this is a rough spot to be in. Yeah, four seconds on the clock here. It looks rough. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Nice try. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh my god. No. What are you going to do? Point one seconds. That's not even a whole second. No way. 
Oh my gosh. I'm I'm happy I called this though. That's my uh I'm not too far out of practice. Motion to see what the play was while trying to blitz forward. He lifted, gets through the cancel, gets to the inside, scores a point he needs to score, and the ref goes, nah, not today. Um I think I'm pretty sure that's the end of the match. They just, they just yeah, they're already celebrating, walking off. Um, good job to Uzbek here uh, for playing it cool, mounting and adjusting the whole offense and defense to adjust to Red. Uh, Red was a great player though to have a lot of weapons like that in your arsenal. Um, I've seen this guy do work before at US, US Open, and uh, he was really good. Um, but that's it for today. I actually need to head out to work now. Uh, the sun is up. It's like 645 and uh, I'll try and see you guys more often. Chris is out.